The 18-year-old accused of killing his schoolmate with an axe at this secondary school campus in 2021 has been sentenced to 16 years in jail on Friday. The accused cannot be named because he was 16 and legally still a minor when he committed the offence. During Friday's hearing, the court also lifted the gag order on the victim's identity at the parents' request. The 13-year-old boy who died was Ethan Hun. The court revealed more details of what happened before and on the morning of the killing. If you've been following this case, you'll remember that the accused had been handed a murder charge. But that was reduced to one of culpable homicide because he had been suffering from depression when he killed Ethan. The court revealed the accused had bought several weapons, including the axe that was used in the killing. His plan was to commit suicide by going on a killing spree in school, so the police could shoot him dead. His first attempt was on July 14. He took the axe and a knife to school in a badminton bag and hid them under a sink in a male toilet. But he failed to follow through with his plan that day. He tried again on July 19. At about 11.15 a.m., he went to the toilet and waited for the students inside to leave. He then closed the door and windows to prevent screams from being heard. When Ethan entered the toilet at around 11.30 a.m., that's when the attack happened. The accused attacked him from behind, repeatedly slashing the 13-year-old's head, neck and body. At about 11.35 a.m., the accused left the toilet with the axe and approached other students to call the police, but they ran away. Ethan was pronounced dead at the scene. Both did not know each other. The accused picked the victim, Ethan, entirely at random, deciding to attack the first person who entered the toilet. During earlier proceedings, the court heard that the accused had attempted suicide when he was 14. He was assessed at the Institute of Mental Health. In a statement through their lawyer, Ethan's parents said they are heartbroken, yet they want to encourage everyone to remember Ethan fondly instead for his goodness, his kind heart and his peace-loving nature. If you need or know someone who needs help, these are some helplines you can call.